She has single-handedly changed the whole perception of what a woman can do on a dirt bike. There's only one Vicky Golden. I just kind of want to do whatever my big brother wanted to do, and he rode dirt bikes, so that's what I wanted to do. She kept bugging us and bugging us and bugging us. It's like, I want to ride, I want to ride, and I'm like, no, you're only seven, no, no. My husband and I kept looking at each other, and it's like, well, if the brother's doing it, kind of have to let the sister do it. So Christmas, you know, went out, bought the bike, got the bike under the tree, basically, and that was all she wanted. She's like, I want to race, and I'm like, oh my God, what have we done? <laughs> and all of a sudden, she was starting to get a little bit of air, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 you know, put it back into neutral. <laughs> but she's like, no, I like these little jumps. Pretty soon after that, we were putting her in actual, you know, races, and she was racing against, you know, all the little boys. Growing up, I made a lot of kids cry. I remember this one kid came up to his dad, and he was just bawling, and then the dad's like, didn't realize that it was Vicky, and she, he's like, you know, we'll just get over it, you know, you go in there and take him out or whatever, and I'm like, hey, it's not a him, it's a her. Pay attention to the ponytail in the back. <laughs> The kid's like, I got beat by a girl, too. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny when I met, when my dad would tell me, he's like, you made another one cry today. And that's kind of the, the joke we had growing up. When she was 12, Vicky and her father had their sights set on Loretta Lynn's Amateur National Championship. But it wasn't meant to be. My dad crashed um, about when I was 12. He went on this track and took on a quad basically and lost and became a paraplegic. Could happen to anyone. It kind of changed everything for me because my dad pretty much handled like everything. She had to literally start learning how to work on a bike, you know, get it running, change the oil, change the filters and stuff. I kind of watched him when I was younger, but when I came down to do it, it was just me, 13 years old, reading a manual. So I was like, do you still want to go to Loretta's, knowing this can happen kind of thing? And we're just still all in shock. I kept, like, hinting, just because, you know, it happened to your dad doesn't mean something like this can't happen to you too kind of thing. But she's like, no, I want to go. I want to go. I qualified. I want to go. This is her love. You know, she really loves to ride. And I just couldn't take that away from her. It happened to my dad. What are the chances of it happening to me, I guess? Lightning doesn't really strike twice in the same place, so I guess that's the kind of way I looked at it growing up, and I never, I never had that fear. She won, and I was kind of hoping she didn't, because I knew if she won, there was no stopping her. There was a few other women that was close to the same speed, but as far as style and skill and ability, she was on another level. I was working with her at the track to become the best um, you know, WMA women's motocross champion, and that was always the goal. I think most of the female riders don't really like me, and that, that's totally okay, I don't, I don't really care. I distanced myself, and the original intention was just because I was over it. It, was, it wasn't really fun anymore. I mean, it wasn't really like, all their drama was, oh, we're not getting the TV, we're not like, we should get what the men get. It was just a big drama fest. Vicky steadily improved in arena cross. And in 2011, she broke through, becoming the first woman to qualify for an arena cross main event and taking gold in women's Moto X racing at X Games. Yet sponsors still weren't sold on the gutsy girl from Menifee, California. I had noticed that, you know, she was having a lot of trouble getting support, you know, in the industry. My core beliefs of the brand has always been to support people like Vicky, you know, that aren't getting everything that they deserve for being so gnarly and, you know, pushing it like they are. He just kind of showed up in my life and just kind of started helping me. And it was, it was pretty rad because uh, at that time, it was one of those things where I was getting promises broken left and right of I was going to get bikes or parts or equipment, money, whatever it may be. I was ready to just kind of call it quits and get a real job. In 
2013, Vicky joined a team notorious for pushing the limits, the Metal Militia. She then had to prove she belonged. They kind of gave me that weird look and they're like, should she be out here? Like, is she gonna, are we gonna have to like get her an ambulance out here? Like, what's the deal? Like, they were kind of worried, but um, I'd show up and hit the ramp, throw a couple whips, and they're like, well, all right then. Like, she means business. Whipping through the finish for a second straight Golden Women's Moto X led Vicky to another first. Vicky Golden, the first woman to ever compete in a Moto X competition here at X Games. Look at this, really holding her own against the boys. Most of the guys were pretty pumped when I was in there. I'm sure a few of them, maybe even all of them, understood maybe kind of the reason why of me just being a chick and can hit a ramp, and it's kind of a good story, but um, they know that my riding kind of backs that up. No one gave me a hard time. Everyone else gave some of the boys a hard time for getting beat by a girl. Vicky completed the Women's Moto X Trifecta in 2013. And Vicky Golden is going to take gold. It's the three-peat. The following year, Vicky stamped her name in the record books once again. Quite the accomplishment to be the first female ever to race in the night program like this at Monster Energy Supercross. Her impact stretches well beyond the Supercross ranks. What I think she's doing for women in motocross is opening eyes and uh, new possibilities and not having such limitations because you're a woman that you could only belong here and this is as far as you can go and this is the only area that you can compete in. I hope it makes it easier for the younger girls coming up and I think it already has. We have a few um, potential riders that can go past my accomplishments and that's what I hope to see when I'm sitting on the couch watching Supercross instead of having to do it. I think that'd be pretty much the ultimate goal in, in the end. Howdy folks, Jack Matrani here, host of the X Games. Thank you for watching Being. Make sure to subscribe to X Games YouTube channel and if you want to continue watching some more Being, check out the playlist. Or not, whatever you want to do. I'm not like here to tell you what to do. I mean, but like just giving you a heads up of what you can do.